Hi and welcome, I'm VA and today I'm bringing you a pick a card reading about what you need to hear right now. So I have three groups for you here, group number one, two and three. So just take your time, see which one calls you the most and move on to your video. Very easy, straightforward, and before I move on, I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the likes, all the comments, so, you know, if you enjoyed this video and if it resonates, please let me know in the comments, and of course, consider liking and subscribing, and yeah, uh, well, I'll move on to group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's see what you need to hear right now. So you guys got the King of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and a lot of Wand cards, Eight, King, Queen, and the Four of Wands. So a lot of passion energy is coming to you soon and a lot of fun. The Wands can be a lot about fun, especially with this last card here, the Four of Wands. But let's start from the beginning, I guess. So I guess you guys are figuring something out. It feels like you with the two kings here, you're really stepping more into your masculine energy. Um, you're going to be more of a leader for sure. Maybe here with the seven and three of pentacles, those of you who are going to be doing something in a group, in a team, will definitely be in a more leader position. Even if no one actually says, you know, okay, you're the leader feels like you guys are still going to take charge because you have the mental clarity um, to figure out what exactly is best for this project or whatever it is that you're going to be doing. And um, you have the knowledge about everything. So you just are the best pick and it feels like you will take this team or whatever um, into the right direction. You'll point them at the right direction because everyone has so many ideas and no one knows, you know, where to go. And without a leader, without you, I don't think the, this thing will go the same way. So teamwork will be very important here. So pay attention to that. And um, with this eight of wands coming right after it feels like once you do start stepping into more of this leader position you will definitely make everything go much more smoothly much faster and everything will just be going great so that's pretty amazing news especially if you're struggling with something right now know that things will start going very differently when you start stepping more into your own power when you start gaining more mental clarity and of course here both with the queen and king of wands together it's like the feminine and masculine energy is coming together merging just like i put here the black and the white stone it's funny that it, you know it's coming out right here with your reading where there's so much you know of this feminine and masculine both coming together and uh, making something beautiful and making fun <laughs> making things fun i feel like you guys are gonna make this super fun for everyone else you're gonna be like a light shining there and everyone's gonna enjoy it so much um and maybe i don't know for some of you maybe you're gonna be planning some kind of trip some kind of party something like that <laughs> not for everyone of course but yeah it feels like definitely you um taking more control of things and not allowing people to you know be all over the place basically will definitely help this uh, thing that you're doing that you're gonna be planning or working on and it feels like a lot of social interactions a lot more are coming towards you so that's why you're it feels like you're starting off you're preparing here with the king of wands because the king of wands is someone who's you know very good at communicating very intelligent so you are starting off with this and then it feels like it's just gonna keep going into more and more of you becoming more social especially if you're not that social right now with these cards coming out here it feels like you're gonna be spending a lot of time with other people and uh fun times as well it feels like you know with the queen of wands a social butterfly everyone is gonna love being around you it's gonna be so fun group number one so this is super exciting very interesting 
things are coming to you soon. For some of you, it might be here with these two cards together that you'll be figuring out more something about yourself, maybe. Uh, figuring things more out, gaining more clarity, and um, seeing where you want to take your life. Even it could be you taking control of your whole life and seeing what direction you want to go and finally picking that thing that you want to focus more on and working with it, on it with other people possibly and making it go smoother and smoother, faster and faster. And yeah, that could also be uh, something for you. Let's see what the oracle cards I have for you are saying. So we have the Rowan here. The Rowan is a symbol of tenacity and determination. And of course, I can see a lot of that here with so many wand cards. A lot of determination, a lot of fire. And uh, you guys, whatever you've been through, it feels like whatever you've been through was there to teach you and get you to be strong enough to be this leader that you're going to be. So maybe you had a hard life or you've been having a hard time recently, but that's all so that you get ready for whatever it is that you're going to be doing now. Um, so good things are coming, group number one, and you just have to keep going because... They, they really are coming and all of the suffering, it feels like it's going to be worth it. So we have awakening presence here. This universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So the universe is with you is really making me feel like this thing, this person that you're becoming and this thing that you'll be doing. It's like the universe is so supportive of it. You're supposed to be doing this. It's going to be so good. And um, you're really, you know, it feels like you're stepping more into what you're supposed to be and who you're supposed to be. And that's why it's going to go much faster and much better the more you keep, um, like I said before, stepping into your power. So don't doubt yourself, group number one. Have confidence because... This is all supposed to be happening. The universe is with you. Everything is working together with you. Everything is being manifested. You know, you're manifesting it, but it feels like the whole universe is helping you manifest it, if you uh, get what I'm saying. And wear a cloak of protection and love. Of course, if you're working with people, talking with a lot of people, make sure that you're careful. You don't want anyone to be taking advantage of you. Ooh, cosmic diamond. <laughs> Yeah, spread hope and joy and illuminate the world. I mean, I was saying this before. You guys are just going to be so nice to be around. And uh, this team that you'll be a part of or whatever uh, people you'll be working with, they're really going to enjoy being around you and with you. You're just going to illuminate their days and make everything so much more fun. So keep the high vibrations up group number one because you're like the light to everyone around you you might not think so but you really are affecting others especially when you're happy and joyful you will be not only magnetic but you will put that onto other people they will start taking that in and they will also become more joyful and happy and Everything would, would just be much nicer. <laughs> a much nicer work environment or whatever kind of environment you're building. And spiritual warrior, <laughs> you really are a wise leader and you really are commanding the universe. So see, not only is the universe with you, but you are commanding the universe. Like I was saying, it's like you're manifesting and the universe is all for it. It's like, yes, yes, yes. Go for it. This is it. This is what we're supposed to be doing. This is going in the right direction. In a super high vibrational direction. Keep going. Command. So you need to step up and command your life as well. More like I was saying, for some of you, you have to start thinking. Well, maybe narrowing down things and choosing what you really want to be doing. Who you really want to be. The next card. Whale and Orca leaders. Share your song. Frequency of sound. Diving deep. 
So if you're unsure where to start, maybe start by sharing your opinion more with others, with the people around you. Share your opinion and what you think. And uh, it feels like maybe if some of you are into music or like I was saying, maybe you're a great communicator. So your voice, you're speaking or singing or you're making music it's affecting people in a different way than uh, other people's speech and song and music do i hope it makes sense but just the frequency of your voice of everything that you're saying it's just different and it's like on a higher vibration and it's changing people it's making everyone more hopeful more joyful illuminating the world so definitely keep doing that group number one if you are already and if you're not then start doing it <laughs> the next card you have is called so oh my god it's time for you to step up it's time for you to become this person time for you to step up in this whatever you're doing here with other people and uh, access more of your gifts it feels like you do have gifts inside you i don't know if you're already using them or now not but it does say soul gifts and training so maybe it, this is you starting to train yourself to start becoming this kind of person start becoming more of an authority figure and leading people so it's time for you to work on that and maybe this is like a small thing that you're gonna be making now and leading um, but later on in life I feel like you're gonna be leading a lot of people and um, you're going to be illuminating a lot of people's lives. <laughs> so whatever you feel called to do, just um, go for it. This is not only your chance, but this is the message that I have for you today. And the last card, the card that you actually picked, is Autumn Angel. Imagine feeling at peace in a garden full of flowering plants. And this is actually perfect for you because being a leader, you know, it's not easy. <laughs> And it can be stressful. And like with the Seven of Cups, you can get overwhelmed and there's too many things. And like, whew, you need to calm down. So this card is urging you to take some time, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed. Take some time and um, imagine that you're in a garden full of beautiful plants. And that you're just so at peace or whatever peaceful place that you personally have. But try that because it will really help you. You need to kind of calm down, calm all of the senses and the thoughts. And that will really help you clear your mind and gain more clarity, of course. So this is one of your first steps, I guess, that you need to take towards becoming this person, this leader. So that's so amazing, group number one. I'm so happy I got to do this reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe and let me know if it resonated. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hello, group number two. Welcome and let's see what you need to hear right now. And uh, group number two, I just want to say, look how interesting the cards are three here three here and they're completely different so here we have maybe your past or your present with the ten of swords five of cups and devil so i see you've been through a lot maybe some kind of ending and it was very hard and it feels like maybe there's some kind of even relief from this ending but it's just the past you're not happy with your past anymore you're not happy with who you were what you've been doing or just with someone in particular maybe even um it could have been an ending of a relationship ending of a job but you're just not happy with it anymore so it's time for it to all end and the devil here i mean it's time for you to break free from his shackles and um live your own life also interesting how you know there's the two sides the <laughs> black side here and the white side here and here we have the world, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. How beautiful. It's like the world coming in um, after all of this bad stuff. Everything is closing down. Things are changing for you. feels like, I mean, it could be even something about moving, movement. 
or uh, traveling as well because both of these cards um, are looking out could be traveling and looking somewhere far away but a lot of newness something new is coming to you so this ending was hard but new things are coming to you and these are better and i feel like you're gonna feel so much better about everything about your life and it's like you're putting away the past and you're looking forward to the future look at the three of wands he's looking forward he's not looking back he is looking out into his bright, beautiful future here with the ace, a sword, new ideas, new new outlook on life. So what a beautiful duality. I mean, I'm so happy for you, group number two, because you're escaping this dark side and you're stepping into the light. And that's so beautiful and wonderful. And it feels like you've been through so much. So you deserve it. You deserve this group number two you deserve to start anew you deserve just better things so it's early on into the video but i really want to see your oracle cards so the first one is the pimpernel so this card is all about if you're in a place right now where you're not sure what road to take then trust in yourself that you will make the right decision because you will group number two. I feel like after all of that, you know where to go. And it's kind of exciting. It can be exciting. It can be stressful and hard starting anew, but it can also be very exciting. And look at it in that way. Try to. And when you're not sure where to go, then just kind of take a moment, relax, and trust that you will get signs even you'll get messages and signs about what the right road for you to take is and you will know just trust in yourself and your intuition trust that you're being guided trust in your higher self and your spirit your spirit guides and so on higher learning here you have learned from experience yes so much experience here you've learned from all of that now more inner study is required to further progress. Very interesting because we did get the Ace of Swords. And that does make me feel like new kind of inner study. It's like you're discovering a new part of yourself. And you're discovering more new parts of yourself. You're discovering more things that you're interested in. And you're starting to learn more about yourself and about the world. So quite interesting don't focus on the past it's time to stop experiencing things it's time to stop um well not experiencing don't stop experiencing everything obviously but <laughs> um time to stop experiencing these bad things at least and stop partaking in these uh, whatever this is whatever this devil was in your life it's time to stop that that it's time for you to break free from the shackles so you've learned from experience you experienced this devil but now it's time to stop and move on to the brighter side of life and the better things Ooh, infinite abundance obstacles are being removed spiritual support and connections are increasing so wow that's very interesting i mean it does feel like an obstacle a big obstacle here is being removed yes and you're just starting anew and finding a lot, a lot more abundance maybe finding new people as well that you can share your new interests with and all of your well experiences with and it does seem like you will be way more supported. Like I, like I said before, trust in your higher self, your spirit guides. They're there supporting you. They're there guiding you. And you need to just trust that they're there. Trust that you will go to the right place. Here we have new opportunities. I mean, <laughs> it's like repeating the same things. Like I told you, new opportunities are coming to you. I don't need this card to tell you that, but... You know, it's nice to have a confirmation that something new really is coming. You just need to move past this hurt, this pain, this fear or whatever it was, sadness. And glimpse a magical doorway. Just walk through it. Allow yourself to go there. 
because it's coming after all of this pain and sadness. Light is coming and new opportunities are coming to you. Oh, and be open to abundance. <laughs> Believe that you deserve ac accept plenty and prosperity. Yes, you need to believe in yourself, group number two. Believe that you can get out of this because you can. Believe that you can go the right place, go to the right, whatever, go the right road. Take the right opportunity if you have multiple in front of you. But believe that you deserve better because this, you don't deserve that. You deserve better. You deserve happiness you deserve joy you deserve love so believe that and it will come to you star ancestors oh maybe you really are being supported by more than just um, your spirit guides and your higher self maybe you have some uh, star beings star family members star ancestors hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper i guess yeah we'll be both of these cards together looking deeper within yourself that's what i'm really getting and with the ace of swords as well look deeper into yourself and um, try to discover more of yourself because it will really help you get past this yeah bad <laughs> And look, look deeper. Discover some hidden secrets. Maybe things from even your past lives. Um, having a past life regression. Maybe that will help you as well. And lost lands. Wow, another lost thing. I guess it's things that you've lost. I mean, you could even have lost it here from this life. Something that you were doing and you're not doing it anymore. Or... Um, really from past lives gifts and memories coming from past lives but whatever you're if you're dealing with all of this bad stuff right now um, maybe try to dig deep and remember when's the last time that you went through something similar and it will help you get through it right now and get to this good part or if you're ha struggling with the starting anew You've definitely done something brand new before in your life. At least once. I would say more than once, but yeah, group number two. You need to look into your past and see how you dealt with it in the past. And, you know, if you didn't deal with it very well, then try to deal with it better. But I feel like you've done this before. You can do it. Discover more of your memories and your gifts as well from your past lives. I'm really feeling that as well. And the last card, the one that you actually picked, Flora's Realm. Be ready to empower yourself with love for your special. Oh. Group number two, you are special and you've been through so, so much. But be ready to empower yourself like this card says because new opportunities are coming to you. So love yourself, love what you're doing, love who you've been, who you're gonna be, love life try to and it starts you know start small start just by telling yourself that and even if you don't fully believe it at one point <laughs> you're gonna start believing it but yeah all you need is love group number two self-love and belief believing in yourself because things are coming obstacles are being removed so look deeper Find that love for yourself if you really don't have enough self-love. And uh, move on to a brighter, better future. Very exciting, you know, group number two. I'm so glad that, you know, you you went through the bad stuff. Now it's time for you to experience good stuff. <laughs> so I really hope that this resonated and I, I hope that you'll be okay, group number two. I wish you so much luck with everything. So much love and yeah i just wish you the best if you enjoyed this please leave a like and comment and subscribe of course and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye hello group number three welcome to your reading and let's see what you need to hear right now so group number three your cards are looking very nice very happy very fa favorable a lot of love I'm seeing here of course we have the sun here the two of cups four of swords knight of wands seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune so 
Uh, it looks like, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is at the end, but it does seem like you guys are really turning a new leaf. I don't know what it feels like. Or maybe you've just been happy so far this past, you know, whatever, week, month. But if you are not, then know that good things are really coming to you. The Two of Cups, either someone very close to you. I mean, you might be finding a new partner. If you're already in a relationship, you might be spending more time with your partner. And um, if you don't have anything love-related to do, <laughs> you don't have a partner and you're not really looking for anyone, maybe you will be spending some time with someone just very close to you that you love a lot and loves you a lot. And it feels like everything is just gonna be so happy you're gonna be so happy you're gonna be shining and it feels like it's also gonna be a time to kind of rest and recuperate and um i mean could it be some time for meditation as well this card can mean that of course um but yeah it just feels like a very relaxing time with the loved ones and relaxing time with your most loved person some soulmate even and um, it feels like even though it's like a time for rest and recuperation, you'll still be very passionate about what you're doing, maybe together with this person or just overall, maybe a job or something that you're doing. I don't know, you're just gonna feel very passionate and you're really gonna start going for things. It's like you're gonna think like, oh, maybe we can do this and then you go for it. But um. It just feels like a lot of growth in you and your partner and your relationship, possibly. That might be talking about a relationship and the growth of a relationship. Finding the love, the happiness, and enjoying those quiet moments and enjoying those crazy roller coaster moments. And maybe not roller coaster of emotions, but more like um, if you're doing something exciting together, something fun. And yeah, I see a lot of growth. It could be some growth in your finances as well or something in your material world growing just slowly. And uh, yeah, just overall things going good for you. It feels like this Wheel of Fortune is coming to say that you have so much good luck, which is amazing. This is really what you need to hear right now, I guess. If you're having a hard time right now, this is the best message to get. And if you're having a nice time now, this is also the best message to get because it's like everything is just gonna keep getting better and better and just growing and the love and the happiness is also growing. And in your quiet moments, listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, follow it. And whenever you have like an idea, then follow that idea and go for it really to make yourself grow even more as a person, to make yourself even happier and lift your vibration even more. Let's see some of the oracle cards that you got, group number three. So we have the Verbana here um, and this card... Hmm. It's very interesting because it's talking about a reconciliation and standing your ground, which I can see with this Knight of Wands, standing your ground and not letting other people overlook you, allowing yourself to be heard when it comes to you in this relationship. If this is like a relationship that has been a bit rocky recently then definitely things are getting much better and make sure that in it you are speaking up and being heard. That's very important right now for you. And uh, actually, this is the card that you picked. It's the Peony Fairy. Fairy. <laughs> You're dizzy from changing direction so many times. Do not look back with regret, but look forward with anticipation and joy. That's such a beautiful message. It's like, if you guys are really having a hard time right now, look forward. Don't look back. Don't look back at the hard times. Don't look back at the sadness and at what you could have done or what you could have had. Look forward to the good times that are coming because look at this. So many good times are coming for you, group number three. So believe in that and try to accept joy and anticipate it like this card says. 
we have hope here. Oh, yeah, have hope that in the future, good things will come to you. And also love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. And there's a lot of love, especially here with the two of cups. And, you know, I mean, it could also be talking about self-love. You learning to love yourself more. Finding that you, in the end, are your best partner and finding the happiness in all of that and taking some moments just by yourself. It could be that for those of you who are without a partner or even if you have a partner, it doesn't mean that you love yourself fully. So it could be happening for you as well. But yes, accept yourself and love yourself and love others, of course, and accept them. But it all starts with you. And recognize that you're worthy as well. Ooh, transcendence with Shiva. Rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Actually, you can't even see all of that. What am I doing? <laughs> um, yes. Dance with the universe. Ooh, whoever is into dancing, go and dance, guys. That will make you super happy. It will just bring up all the vibrations, especially to music that you like. And um, honor your inner force, like it said before. The, recognize your divine worth. Honor your inner force. Just honor yourself. Take the time you need to rest, but also follow your passions and just let yourself be happy. Just such a beautiful message. And steps are being given. You're being guided towards here. You're being guided with this person or just with yourself. Amazing. So healing. Align with your true essence. See your true colors. More about, not not even just about recognizing your inner worth and your uh, force, honoring your force, but also seeing your true colors. Like, this is really about finding yourself. Maybe it really is about falling in love with yourself. And maybe this reconciliation is just with yourself. Maybe you were having some inner conflict. Um, could be with someone else, of course, as well. But yeah, this whole situation, this is this is really coming for you. And just so healing. How beautiful. Group number three. And aligning more with your true self. The happier you are, the more you raise your vibration. The more you align with yourself and your true self. Because that's what we are. We are love. Oh my, activated earth. Hmm, trust where you're led. This brings me back to this uh, card here. Steps are being given. Trust where you're led. So you really are being led somewhere. Group number three. And it not, might not be like in a physical place. But it might be talking about where you're led in life. And this new cycle here with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. This new cycle that you're being led into is one that is full of joy and happiness and i mean like this card says you've been changing directions so many times and you're dizzy now and so stop looking back only look forward like this clock is not supposed to go backwards it's only going forwards so that's what you should be doing to group number three and look forward to where you're gonna go look forward to where life will take you look forward to um expressing your passion and your energy and putting it into something that you love and putting it into time with loved ones and yeah just happy times how wonderful hmm. this card i guess it will go here karmic relationships orion energy polarity so growth and conflict so it does seem like there is possibly some kind of conflict going on. Maybe it really is with you and someone else. And this is something, maybe it's going on right now in your life or in the near past. Um, so no, group number three, that this conflict, if it did happen, it was so that you can grow as a person. It was so that you can start understanding things, seeing more parts of yourself, and um, so you can start seeing the good parts in you. I mean, let's take, for example, if you broke up with someone or you were just on a break, then 
use get to use that time alone to kind of be with your thoughts and realize more things about yourself and that can be with friends as well if you um fell out with a friend and then you had more free time than you usually do then you would start you know either resting or just hmm, doing stuff just by yourself and then you really see like oh i actually like this i like this i think i'm good at this so just discovering more things that you love i mean two of cups could even be about discovering something that you love it doesn't have to be always a person it can be discovering something that your heart yearns for so whatever happened i feel like it was very beneficial for you even if it hurt remember that group number three it was so that you turn to a new cycle and then grow more as a person and um, I do feel like since we got this card uh, in the beginning that you will be reconciling with this person. So don't worry about that. I don't think you will, you know, not never speak again if you're not currently reconciling. But just make sure that you're heard. And uh, yeah. And with polarity here, I mean, we have to experience both sides, you know, the black, the white, both sides, we got to experience both sides. And life is like a mix of both sides. It's not one or the other. So now you're going to be experiencing the good side, but maybe in the past and you were experiencing the bad. So that's really sad. I'm sorry, uh, group number three, but don't worry because good things are coming. So look forward to the future. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe, of course. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!